guys what is up it is day 45 of the challenge we have 25 days left it's uh it is creeping up and i can't believe it's june 1st today i have no idea where uh april and may went um i don't know time is flying by um all right let's get right into more of your questions does it matter how much protein you eat in one meal? Um, this is a great question. So short answer is no, it doesn't. Um, but I will say this, your body doesn't have the ability to store protein like it does carbohydrates and fats, right? Your body can store carbohydrates in the liver and the muscles in the form of glycogen. Um, and of course, we know it can store body fat, right? It can store fat, um, it can store it can really convert anything into fat, although protein is the hardest one to convert. Um, but we cannot store protein. Uh, it's very, very hard. So, um, however, that being said, you know, most proteins will digest uh, very slow. So, um, you know, usually you'll get a trickling effect from the protein, um, you know, with the exception of maybe protein powder. Okay, but it seems like the body has a good ability to deal with uh, large amounts of protein at one at one time. Uh, although you may feel that if you do that, you may feel really full just because it it has that very satiating effect. Protein turns off uh, ghrelin, that hunger hormone. It literally turns it off. So um, just keep that in mind. You will feel ultra satiated with more protein. Okay. All right, so what are some quick sources of protein? Because people always ask me, you know, like, uh, they they had to take some takeout food or whatever because they didn't have any protein made. So some quick uh, go-tos that I like. Um, one is cottage cheese. And it's the only, the only cottage cheese that I like is the one from Costco. However, I will say to you, there are, um, there are a number of agents that are added to it, which may appear to be questionable, but... They're not, um, you know, with the exception of one that I'm going to take a look. I haven't looked it up yet. So I'll look at that and I'll, I'll look it up and I'll get back to you. But the cottage cheese that comes from Costco is the best tasting cottage cheese, okay? It is 2% and it tastes way better than any other cottage cheese. All right, so that's one thing I would recommend. Uh, number two would be Greek yogurt, okay? Very easy to um, just to, to get out and put in a bowl, right? To measure and put in a bowl. Uh, number three would be protein powder. That's sort of an obvious one. Uh, number four would be egg and egg uh, whites. Uh, so you can easily whip up an omelet or scrambled eggs in seriously a matter of like two minutes, right? Uh, or you can even microwave them, but eggs microwaved are really not that good. Uh, number five, uh, this may not be something that you do, but you can do and you can pick up large slabs of sashimi. Uh, I used to buy it from this place down just, it was in Chinatown and it shut down. It was like a market that you could go to and, and I could, and you could buy it there, but I'm sure you can buy it so many different places. I'm, I'm sure many sushi restaurants you could probably, probably buy slabs of sashimi, okay? Like tuna sashimi or salmon sashimi. Um, might be a bit pricey, but you know, you have it in the fridge and all you have to do is just literally cut it up and it's ready to go. Um, and one that I didn't put in my list, but all I will just tack it on here is, of course, protein bars. Not super huge fan of, of um, I'm a big fan of the ISO bars, but they're not really pure protein. Like everything I listed here is basically pure protein. The, the ISO bars are by calories um, about 25 to 30% protein, right? The, all these that I mentioned are virtually all protein by calories. Um, so, um, the, the bars that um, that I haven't mentioned here, but I did mention them in, earlier in some of the very first uh, videos I put out, uh, were the Quest bars and then of course the, uh, the protein bars from Costco, the Kirkland ones, um, that are basically just these high protein, low carb bars. There is fiber in them, but there's no starch or sugar in them, okay? Or at least very, very little, all right? So those are uh, really six uh, quick go-to uh, protein sources that you can uh, and there's others too obviously these are just like my my six okay 
All right, uh, how are we doing here? It's five minutes. Okay, one more quick question. Uh, I pulled a joint between my right arm and shoulder. I have difficulties raising my arm higher than shoulder or reaching hand to the back of the neck. Should I, should I just do walks for now? Um, okay. Uh, yes, well, you should definitely do some walking for sure. Get, do some activity, obviously. Um, but you know, one thing with injuries is that doesn't stop you um, from doing some of the resistance-based exercises. So while you may not be able to do most upper or maybe all upper body exercises at the moment, you can still do your lower body, right? You can still do your, your squats, you can still do your lunges, you can still do uh, a hip extension, uh, or you could do a hip thrust. Um, you can do uh, variations of squats, right? Like sumo squats and Kazakh, um, Kazakh lunges, all kinds of variations of lunges. Um, you know, you can use your bands even to do some, um, some abduction, right? So some lifting of the legs out to the side uh, using the resistance, resistance of the bands. Um, and you can do deadlifts, right? You could do stiff leg deadlifts. Uh, or, or perhaps regular deadlifts, um, although I know you're not coming to the gym yet. Um, so, uh, and of course, let's not forget, you can do calf raises. So there's a bunch of stuff you can do for your lower body, okay? Uh, so that's what I would do. I would incorporate that. And um, if you have access to some cardio equipment that's, uh, that is, um, you know, impact-free, you know, like a stationary bike or elliptical or something, you could always do that as well, okay? Um, and of course, I'm a big fan of walking uphill, okay, especially grass grass uphill. Of course, probably at some point you're gonna have to walk down, which is not the best thing for, for your knees. Um, but as long as you do it slowly and just sort of put some tension through your quads, you'll help protect your knees, okay? All right, uh, message of the day. It's one of my favorites. I want to remind you guys because we got 25 days to go. I know a lot of you are feeling tired and a lot of you are feeling perhaps uh, perhaps discouraged, although hopefully not. Um, but I want to remind you of something. And this is something that I think we should always remind ourselves of. Uh, it's a saying, it goes like this, don't forget you can start late, you can start over, you can be unsure, you can act differently, you can try and fail, and you can still go on to succeed. Okay, so let me read that again. Don't forget you can start late, you can start over, you can be unsure, uh, you can act differently, you can try and you can fail and you can still go on to be highly successful, okay? So you, the, the key here is, and you'll keep hearing me say, is the key is to keep trying, all right? A lot of times this whole thing is an evolution and part of the evolution is going through these ups and downs. That's just the way it is and that's just the way life is. All right, so keep that in mind, all right? start late, you can start over, you can be unsure, you can act differently, you can try and fail, and you can still go on to succeed. All right? Positive energy, positive vibes, believe in yourself, give some gratitude, and uh, arguably, and most importantly at this point in the stage, is keep submitting, committing, right? Submit, commit, and I'll talk to you guys all soon. Don't forget I've added classes on Friday. And um, I will be adding more classes during the week too. So just heads up on that. I'll talk to you guys all very soon. See you. Have a good night.